I want to show you another app. So you can see Note Blaster at the end. Music Tutor is the one we're going to next. Uh, I'm glad that you noticed where mine is in that top right corner. And there's a tuner that I can use on this app. I also want to point out to you Tonic, which is right next to the left of Music Tutor. That's where we can go in and listen to people practice. More on that on a different day. But note reading, that's what we're going to stay focused on. So this is what the inside of Music Tutor looks like. I would suggest you click on the options. And then I've chosen, because you know I love viola most, I've chosen alto clef, the F3 G4. It's referring to F, the note F. You've heard about the note F. It's also talking about the third octave. So if you're looking at a piano, it's the third octave, including the F, from the left. All right, so if you know piano, that's going to make sense. If you don't, whatever. F is also the first line on our alto clef staff. I'm taking it all the way up through G4. So it'd be F3, uh, G3, A3, B3, C3, sorry, C4, D4, E4, F4, and G4. G4 is your three fingers on the D string, the top line of the alto clef, okay? I'm not going to practice for very long because if I'm just learning how to read notes, I'm going to get frustrated easily because it's like reading another language. I shared with you I'm learning Korean. I'm a pretty good listener and I can repeat things back pretty well. I still sometimes make people giggle, but speaking simple, simple, simple Korean, I'm getting better at. Reading Korean, I'm horrible. I can sound out the letters most times. But there are rules to reading Korean the same way there are to reading English or reading music. So my suggestion, keep this duration short, one minute. If you want to go for longer, that's fine as you get better. I think that's a good way to challenge yourself. But for me, I'm going to keep this at one minute. Click, click done. Before I start the game, which is that big black button in the middle, I'm going to remember my lines. F as in fat. The second line is A, as in ants. The third line on my hand staff is C, for can. My fourth line is E, for eat. And my fifth line is G, for grass. So my acronym that we came up with in class, but we're always coming up with new acronyms, fat, ants, can, eat, grass. F-A-C-E-G. When you hear me play this, you're going to hear me repeat that to myself as if I were learning this clef along with you, okay? It's been a few years, but I remember how slow I was reading notes. So first line is F. Set This note is on the second line, so that's an A. This is on the space be between F and A, so I remember my musical alphabet. F, G. F, G, A, B, C is one way I can think of it. I can also just remember it's the alto clef, the C clef. So the third line is C. I'm remembering my spaces are G, B, D, F. This is on the third line. So my lines are fat cats, sorry, fat ants can eat. So this is an E. Fat F, G, B, D, G, B for the spaces, G, B, D, F for the spaces. And maybe I get confused. I'm just going to get a red note. But that's okay. My accuracy changes, but I don't really care. I'm just practicing. Okay. So <laughs> there's a leaderboard out there that is really fantastic. Do you see it? I got a score of 10 and an accuracy of 76% as I was showing you this. I got 760 points, but somebody out there got 3,796 points. Woo! Now I can review my mistakes. That's also kind of nice. I looked at this note in the second space. It's a B, but I clicked on the keyboard note that said G. Whoops. When I saw this note, maybe I was thinking, I don't know an open string on a different instrument, whatever. I should have said F, but I clicked A. 
A is also on the second line. That's kind of weird, yeah? F, fourth space. A, second line. This is fun. I can click back in the top left-hand corner. And now I can play again. I can go back to the main menu and I can reset my options, okay? I chose not to sign into my game center, that light blue bubble on the bottom. I just, I don't need to be signed in to the game app. My notes reference. If I were forget or something, I can read this. This probably looks pretty similar to what you have in your book at the back. Remembering that viola actually starts on that fourth note, the C, and it goes up from there. That's C3. I'm going to click back for learn. I can also see treble clef. I can also see bass clef. It is fun. So, I hope this helps.